Alright, hello and welcome to another Direct Strike Weekly Brawl. I'll be playing Dahaka this time around. So the mutators are double income. We have the auras on the ground here and the auras that you pick as well. So with this strategy on Dahaka, I'm actually not too sure what I'll be doing. So maybe the first thing I want to see is what aura I'm going to get. So I'm just going to put down a Primal Worm here. Because um, that counts as a unit. Okay, so I got Shadow, Time, and Force. Uh... Wow, so if I go Shadow, I might as well. If I go Time, I might as well go Shadow, right? I don't think Dahaka is anything that's cooldown. Um, let's see. I mean, Primal Hosts have cooldown, I guess. Oh my god, I can just go Primal Hosts. I can just go Primal Hosts. Okay, let's just tech up. Uh, I'm just going to go push Primal Hosts then. Dahaka Primal Hosts, because Dahaka will be the front line that I need instead of um, Roaches or something. Although Dahaka Roaches, I think, have a lot of health, if I recall. Um compared to other people's roaches, but they don't, they just sort of are just average. Um, shadow, yeah, let's go time. Let's do time again. Uh, let's just put down some more primal worms, um, because they count towards my um, gene pool anyways. They're the only defensive structure that costs money, uh, which is which is strange, because I guess I'm paying for detectors as well. Um, so I'll probably just get Dahaka himself. The only bad thing about playing Dahaka is you can't scan your opponent. You can't like put down a Primal Worm here. Can you imagine like you put down a Primal Worm and it starts killing the units inside their spawning area? <laughs> that would be dumb. Uh, if only. Let's see. So Extractor. I'm pretty sure there's precautions against that, right? Like my ally scanned and like, I tried to put down a Primal Worm like it wouldn't let me. Yeah, let's just put down some Primal Worms. Let's just melt these Marines down. Oh, The Primal Worms can die from AoE Splash though. That's the thing. Uh, so I'm gonna put the Haka here, and I'm just, oh, because the Haka has cooldowns too. Fuck yeah, .com. All right, let's just um, Haka will come out next wave. All right, and here we go, the Haka here. Just, 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 just sit down there. Uh, okay. Well, I forgot I don't have the hockey to Haka. Okay, so is this is this my opponent? I think so, right? Yeah, that's my opponent. I think I'm against Tychus. Against Tychus, Nux hmm, might do pretty good against me. Okay, I'll just took, took down Tychus. It's a swarm host. Uh, who is this? 150. Oh, okay. Well, let's just let's just do this. Swarm host 160. Why do they have 150 health swarm hosts? I didn't get any health buffers. Okay, so I got like four little orbs. That tells me I have like four abilities on Dahaka to level up. Um, uh, so, let's, let's do it. First and foremost, I think... I'm against this guy, whoever Pathwolf is, right? I think that means I can, uh, eat his guys. Okay, let's surround him with that. Um, this, this, this. Uh, let's get a Devour Points again. Yeah, I'm against I'm against Abathur. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a swarm host battle. So my my things fly up and they have more health, but they do a little less damage. I feel like the fact that they have more health makes them better. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot that they fly though, so like they get they they'll draw air aggro. Um I don't know if they hit up. I don't think they hit up. It's like the the creeper the creeper hosts that hit up. But the creeper hosts only have splash on the ground. They have no splash in the air. Um, but they're just like they're just flying banelings, basically. I don't know. Maybe the creeper hosts are probably better. So you get like a few. But the bread and butter is probably gonna be the basic swarm hosts. Okay. I'm just gonna hockey hawk on too. That's what I usually do. So it's getting a little unnerving that it's not there. So I'm gonna get leap just 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 to have leap. So he has swarm hosts. Uh, Let's just put down some worms to get rid of his swarm hosts. So these are my OG swarm hosts that are still going. Eat that one. And that's the cannon. Oh my god. I think my voice needs to take a break soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's just so hoarse right now. 
Okay, so he's got these thematics here. He's getting pounded. He's getting pounded. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I get more of these swarm hosts. Anyone who has, like, the fear of holes or anything, like, swarm hosts are literally, like, the worst thing. They literally have holes and, like, stuff come out of them. God damn. Um, okay, so let's let's drop these guys down here, because those tanks are going to stack. Haka has the one thing where it's like you can... This is the one good utility. You can use it to knock out some stacked units, which is excellent. Um, I actually want to upgrade my... I don't know why Dahaka's primal like attacks and all that stuff upgrades cost so much. Like, I don't know why they do. Like, why... why I? Because, like, technically, like, he's upgrading both his, um... His air and ground, but, like... Some commanders only have ground... Or, like, only have upgrades for all their mechanical units, because that's all they have. So I don't understand why Dahaka has it super expensive like this. Uh, do I need detection? Probably not. I probably want Dahaka to have more armor... Mmm, yeah, sure. I want that guy. Oh shit, let's get another one of these guys out. There we go. Let's have more swarm hosts out. These swarm hosts are just, they're just cooling it back here. Uh oh, but looks like detection's coming around in the form of these things spawning. Oh no, they just died. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, this is a swarm host battle. Swarm host tanks versus just swarm hosts and like Phoenix, Phoenix War Zoom. Look at that. I think Borazun Stalkers will just stay alive for so much longer because of the fact that they have a reduced cooldown on their blink. So they'll just keep healing up their shields every single time. So they're stacking up pretty nicely. Like The number of tanks that are here are just not enough. It's just not enough. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... The number of swarm hosts I have is just not enough, you know? Um, okay. I need more, I need more. I need that constant generation of units. Um... Are these locusts melee? No, they have three range. It just looks like they're melee because they fly in to your face, like face first. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh my god, look at all those swarm hosts. Whoa. Alright, come on, we can push through this. We can push through, push through, push through. Look at that huge wave of adepts. Let's go. Adept stalker. He has no. They have no. Really, they have no detection? I find that hard to believe. Alright. Um, I guess I have no detection right now. Okay, so it's like a stalemate just of guys, just units stacked up here. Avatar is growing pretty strong. I might, I might want to start transitioning into some creeper hosts. Um, well, the Hawk has fire breath. Here we go. That'll help with the AoE a bit. Okay, let's just let's just push tier three. Uh, I'm gonna need to push tier three. Um, let's do it. Let's just sit on that tier three. Let's go. God damn. Siege tanks are honestly like the most badass sounding units ever. Okay, let's put these guys down here. Hopefully they'll help out, clear up the mess. Surprise my allies don't have any detection. Oh no, they do. There's an oracle. Uh, hopefully the oracle doesn't die. That's Hyperion. Okay. That's Hyperion. Let's get him. I don't think my creeper hosts attack ground. I mean attack air, my bad. They have cost to attack ground. I don't think they attack air. Uh, mm. So that Hyperion is going to really help him push back. Okay, so let's get a Creeper Host. Like a plan. Creeper Host will sp spawn some explosive Creepers. And that will be very good for me. Yeah, they're definitely pushing us back now with this, um... With this, oh my god. This, do we have any form of stacking? So this guy only has Adepts, and this guy only has Stalkers. He's going for some Void Rays. Um, yeah, I guess. So, I'm gonna, I need to get another Creeper Host. 21 seconds, 21 seconds. Oh, okay, that's bad news. There's two Hyperions out now. Might Tahaka just breathe fire twice? 
Oh, does he have two charges? I think it's because he has two charges. Okay. Mm, uh oh. Gas. And then Creeper Host. Because uh, this is going to be a long haul game as well, it seems. Uh, our opponent's Gambit for early Hyperion seems to have paid off with the Hyperion Rush. Um, our lack of uh, responding properly. Is Hyperion even taking any damage from this Void Ray? I don't know. Uh, we didn't respond properly either. So that cost us. So um, maybe some Guardians? Primal Guardians. Hmm. But they cost so much more in comparison. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to get Keen Senses so Dahaka can see the enemies. Um, but yeah, this Void Ray is not doing anything to that Hyperion. God damn. Okay. Let's let's try and do something. May target air units and explosive creepers gain increased move speed. Oh man, okay. Um Wait, that's 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 not what I want. That's not what I want. Oops. Alright. Um, God damn. Okay, let's just go Aerial Burst Sacks. I don't think Flying Locust. Yeah. Explosive Creepers. Okay, okay. One of them has double Creeper Spawn, I think. Okay. That did quite a bit of damage to the Hyperion, actually. Hmm. Break it down. Sounds like a plan. So these guys spawn twice as much. Yep. Uh, whoa. They're slowly but surely pounding away at us. Uh, oh man, that's a second Hyperion. That's not good. That's no good. Oh, okay, that Hyperion despawned. Um, What's the plan? Break it down. Our cannon, our bunker's out. Down and out. Alright. Okay. Doc is almost leveled up. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, Dahaka's healing up, he's eating. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Oh, no, he went for the air splash. If that was a ground splash, that would have been mm, juicy. That would have been juicy. Juicy, juicy. Okay, let's just, let's just keep getting Creeper Hosts. Um, yeah, those Primal Hosts are not cutting it right now. Good thing though, the double income does help. Uh, let's get Devour again, and then we can get Roar to help CC that wave. Um, Phoenix coming here with the spin, doing lots of damage, um, but not good enough. I need our Creeper Host, I need more Creeper Host. I'm gonna have to move the Hakka forward. Oh my god, he looks huge. He's just like running. Oh shit. Can you imagine what can lift? The haka up like that. That's crazy. Okay, um so let's put let's put this guy down here. Alright, alright, let's go. Okay, that's the Hyperion going down. That's good. Alright, Carrix has um his super powerful flaming colossi. Okay, my creeper host will actually annihilate his because mine do um AoE while his only does auto attack. Um, so I will win out in the Swarm Host Creeper Host battle. Uh -huh. Here we go. Let's give me another one of these. Oh yeah. Okay, this one spawns twice. Twice the number. Let's just upgrade my attack, I think. Okay, so we're stacked up and we're pushing in. So that's good news for us. Bad news for them. He has two, um, oh, never mind, the Warbringers. Oh my god. I don't know what Warbringer does that causes it to look like that. 
Oh, man. Oh, that's terrible, terrible damage. I think that's the game. That has to be the game. That has to be it. Okay, no, Hyperion's coming out. But I have a whole new wave of guys coming in. After my first wave, just that just evaporated. That's game, guys. That is game. Alright, if you like this video, uh, feel free to leave a like. Um, if you have any comments as to how my opponents could have played a little better, uh, feel free to drop some comments in the, in the comment section down below. Um, if you like videos like this, I suggest that you guys subscribe because I'll be making Direct Strike content every single day of the week. Uh, and go ahead and see some of these other videos that are being suggested right now. Um, but as for that, just uh, take care until I see you guys next time.